ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರವರಿಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತಾಂ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಟುಡೆ ದ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ವರ್ಷ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಪ್ರಾಂನಿರ್ಮಿ ತಪಸ ವಿಪಾಕ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗ್ರ ನಿಶ್ರೇಯಸ ಸಂಪದೋ ಮೇ ಸಮೇ ದಿಶೀರ ಸ್ತವ ಪಾದ ಪದ್ಮೆ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ಚಿಂತ ಮಣಯ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಶಿಕನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಶ್ಲೋಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ರೀಕಾಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ದ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆನಂದ ಅನುಭವ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ದ ಭಾಗವತೋತ್ತಮಾಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ ಭಾಗ್ಯಶಾಲೀಸ್ who meditated on on lord hayagrivan with goosebumps romanjali and with ananda bashpam the tears of joy enjoying and immersing themselves in the anubhavam in the cavity of their hearts having the darshana saubhagyam of hayagrivan in this from the next few shlokam swami desikan prays to hayagrivan for conferring of such bhagyam saubhagyam on him also like what he has blessed those bhagyashalis so we will cover the 19th shlokam now swami desikan appeals in the 19th verse here saying that the verse attaining this goal there are many ways so he mentioned in the last shlokam about the bhagavad maya bhagavad swarupa tirodhana and how to cross that maya how to cross that prakriti sambandham the influence of prakriti the trigunas how to do that is not in our control it is only bhagavad anugraham but how to get the bhagavad anugraham how is it possible is it on his own accord on permal's accord does he choose to give some few the bhagavad anugraham so how is it possible is there anything that we need to do as a jeevatma chetana and swami desikan mentions in this lokam 19 yes there is something which we we need to do which is performing pranamam on his pada padma prang nirmitanam ta samedishinam stava pada padme so tava pada padme pranamaha un tiruvadi tamarayil danda nidigal at his lotus feet prostrating and performing pranamams is all that we need to do and we need to continue to do and that's all we need to do and for them he blesses with his bhagavad anugraham he says but prangnir mitanam tapasam vipaka he says prangnir mitana tapasam vipaka because of the several past births we have performed the tapas upavasam krishna chandraya chandrayana so all these things we have performed some penance in purva janmams previous births one must have done otherwise there is no way that we will be blessed we are blessed with such saubhagyam such a fortune of even letting alone read these things coming across hayagriva stotram getting to know this wonderful vyakhyanams and getting to share with each other this amazing works and even to have time to listen to these things and to share enjoy this anubhavam of swami desikana and hayagriva stotram we must have definitely done some something in our past birth for being blessed with this bhagavad anugraham when one worships your sacred feet swami mentions in this verse 
one obtains the rarest of rare wealth and which is here he says sankalpa chintamanaya and pratyagra nishreyasa sampada idu varai karudada moksha selvam pratyagra nishreyasa so prangnirmitanam tapasam vipaga the fruit of tapas performed in previous birth the moksha siddhi is described by swami desikan as pratyagra nishreyas a wealth that uh, that was not attained so far and which is attained from pranamam at his lotus feet sharanagati and swami says the the rarest of the wealth that one can aspire is pratyagra nishreyas and compares this but compares those giving pair of lotus feet to a rare chintamani ratnam sankalpa chintamanaya tava pada padme the chintamani the, the 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 rarest of wealth is granted by the chintamani the the gem stone the gems the pair of gems that is his two lotus feet and at that tavapada padme pranamaha performing pranamam and par pranamaha is in plural performing again and again which is utterance of dvayam again and again same dishiran may it grow and grow and may bhagavan give his anugraham shubhasya purva charitai kritam shubhaihi even those pranamams that we do is due to purva janma sukritam and the deep loyalty in the lord as the savior will bless us to cross the maya and in the commentary d ramaswami ayyengar dindikal ramaswami ayyengar mentions even periya tirumali passage nanudai tavattal tiruvadi adainden and also swami nammalvas arulichayal இம்மையும் சாதித்து வானவர் நாட்டையும் நீ கண்டுகொள் என்று வீடு தரும் சரணமாகும் தனதால் அடைந்தார்க்கெல்லாம் மரணமானால் வைகுந்தம் கொடுக்கும் பிரான் ஸோ இட் இஸ் மென்ஷன்ட் தட் ஹிஸ் திஸ் பிரணாமம் இஸ் சகல சிந்தித்த பல பிரதமா சிந்தாமணி இட் கிராண்ட்ஸ் எவ்ரி Pabam, in order to get rid of the Pabam, Pranamam. Shri Velamur Swami writes in his commentary, Haratyagam samprati hetu reshyataha, Shubhasya purva charitai kritam shubhaihi, Sarira bhajam bavadiya darshanam, Vyanakti kala tritayepi yogyata. I am performing Pranamam to your, your lotus feet. Even that blessing, Bhagyam, is because of your grace pirman and this pranamams will lead me ultimately to to be blessed with moksha anubhavam that's different point but even this pranamam is due to your unbounded limitless aparimita nirhetuka kripai shri raghava patracharya's anubhavam and Shri Gopalatata Acharya goes one step further. Yogi Gal Maya Amtanti. He says, Prapanna Pranamaha, this, this plural Pujayam, is Pranamam, he is referring to the fond remembrance of his lotus feet and prostrating it again and again. Samedhi Shiram, may it grow, may it grow, may it grow. means may the fruits also grow so oru kalam pala kalam oru kalam prapatti pala kalam palan sharanagati it can also mean that so even for one to recognize that the moksha is sharanag is the palan enormous punya must have been accumulated over past births by a series of austerities rituals 
had one not done such karma in the past births definitely he would not have any interest or inclination to think towards this track all right as an ultimate fruit of my past good deeds i have now taken a liking to secure moksha in this birth and as a suggestive upayam to perform prapatti i would perform repeated pranamams falling flat at the lotus feet may may you see to it that it grows larger and larger so as to culminate into moksha says hayagriva pranama itself would not secure moksha pleased by the process he may by his sankalpam encourage and induce me to perform sharanagati thruva sadacharyan or the term pranama can also imply prapatti in a collective sense that like we say avargal shrinivasan avargal like that prapatti is respectfully considered as with a pluralistic sense acharyas wonderfully have this anubhavam kavitarkika simhaya kalyana guna shalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha namo narayana adiye